Hey guys, what about Amiobi here? We're here for another course playthrough. Today we are playing the second course on the Safe Haven Shores plot. This is Safe Haven Highlands by Mayday Golf 83. You may remember him as Mayday 91283. Uh, he decided to move out of Beverly Hills and stop using the, the zip code, and he's going with that route now. So you can see, like, the Shores course is over there. This course is more inland and more traditional, he's saying. Um, the one thing I'll say about this, the Safe Haven Shores course was amazing. So this has got some, uh, this has got something to live up to. So it might be a bit tricky to, to kind of capture that same vibe. However, with Mayday, you never know. Um, and what I mean by that is don't sell him, sh like, don't think he can't do something because he doesn't usually publish until it's ready. So I'm sure he took all the time in the world to create this one too, just like he did the first one. And uh, I'm looking really looking forward to this. Uh, yeah, right away. Like, just he's got. I, was, I think he has the record for most bunkers on a TGC or sorry, a PGA 2K um, plot. There are, you know, about seventeen thousand. I think, conservatively. Um, you're supposed to go a bit right. Get off of there. Perfect. Yeah, it's the, the, the Shores course is modeled after Whistling Strikes. He's been very open about that. Um, so this is kind of an inland, more inland version of it. Uh, and of course, Safe Haven Shores was immortalized by the memorable match of Mini Obi versus myself on it. Uh, early on in the game cycle. Mini Obi was playing as Brooke Henderson, and I was me. Has a bunker sculpting issue been fixed? I don't know. Someone in chat probably will. These bunkers look great, though. Yeah, it's just everything feels like it should mm. a chance to make eagle to start things off which would been fun yeah i mean again the skull or sorry the framing is fantastic like it's the environment is nailed absolutely nailed The bunkers are, are difficult without being silly. Just tough to pull off. I think it's a... Oh, or maybe the fairway would help it. No. This course is pretty easy. Well. This is traditional, is it? Um, I'm old enough now that I guess Pete dies traditional. This is quite a four, though. Uh... You could. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely, Alan. That's absolutely what's going to happen. And then Newcastle is going to lose like 3 0 tomorrow, get bounced at a League Cup, and I'll be back to be miserable. Um, I'm, I'm just looking where the layup would be. So, layup would be back here. There's no way we're laying up. We're also not hitting driver because driver's too much. So, I think the play is to try to get it in this gap. Well, the problem, though, is if you get in that gap, you're in this bowl in the middle. So you're going to be putting up. Well, you're putting up the hill. That's not the worst thing. You can't really go at it. You're going to end up in that bunker. Uh, because we have a rule here. Blame GE. We, no laying up allowed unless it's a competitive round.
and I'm not hitting 8 iron off the tee. I'm just not doing it. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Yeah, that didn't come out. Well, try again. All right, well, that's tough par. <laughs> it's a really well done short four, though, because you can go for it. If you don't hit it in a good spot, though, you're going to have a hard time getting up and down. Really well done short four. This is uphill? Really? Ooh, quite a bounce. Okay. There's movement on the greens without them being silly, which I like. Oh, it broke more than that. Bastard. Okay. We're not going to birdie every single hole. It's okay. Oh, I like what he's done here. So he's got some kind of dead space down there, but he's hidden it with the front of the tee. So you don't see it until you fly. Cool. It's like he knows what he's doing. I didn't, I was making sure I didn't fast that because I didn't want to lose it left. Come on back. Oh. HP. We got Velcro fringed. Hello, Mayo. For those watching on YouTube, the designer has just entered the chat. We just lost two shots because of Velcro fringe, because that would have been in the hole. That would have been a hole in one if that ball doesn't get Velcro fringed. I would have been dancing all over Mayday's green. Spiking the ball on top of some Green Bay Packer thing. Making a right ass of myself, and instead I'm struggling to make par. Hmm. Hmm. There's my angle. Yeah, there is. Oh, have we hit a perfect drive here? Pretty much. Oh. Oh, we don't have the greatest lie in the world, but... Uh, down... It needs a bit of help. Or does it? I thought that was going to go right off the, uh, off the lie. You don't want to be in the bright bunkers either. So playing it, you know, 15 feet left, isn't the worst thing in the world. It's, I mean, it's, it's every, I mean, it's, it's as good as the shores course so far. Just saying a lot.
more of a Langford and Morrow style. Two of my favorite people. <laughs> um, I thought Pete died, but okay. I was wrong. All right, into the wind. Oh, we can get there easily. A poor man's McRainer. Okay. Oh, don't bounce too hard here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. 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 It didn't stop. Okay. You're uh, you're never left with an easy putt, are you? I thought he was going to DQ me last night, I'm telling you. That's why I said what I said. I, I could just, I could see him barreling into the back of me and that would be my other. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fair point. Um, but, in, but it's in a good way that you're not left, like, you, you've got to think on every shot you play on these courses. A good thing. Uh, downwind, you would just blast it over all this stuff, but we're not downwind. I'm going to hit a cut, massive cut. I like that cuts go shorter because that's what they should do. It's one of the few things they got right with the physics in this game. Oh no, don't, okay. And then we're getting a headache from putting on these greens. It's not a bad thing. Well, it's funny you say that, um, Mayday, because Mrs. Mayday was pleasantly surprised when I visited. She wasn't too sure what to do with it. Oh, so you've done some swale? Like, this is not the first time we've seen the swales here. And we've gone double green here. See, this double green makes sense to me. With the first course I played, there was a double green that didn't. This one does, because there's two fairways kind of running parallel that are ending up, and it's 9 and 18. So they're they're both ending up near the clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one he came up with. Uh, I'm just going to bond a three-wood down here. Hmm, I'm a little farther than I expected. That's fine. All right, so we know this will be on tour. Uh, what, what, uh, which tour do we think? Ooh, starting the back with the par three. Yeah, this is the detail of this is just so good. The whole plot, like both courses in this plot. In, in a sense, it's kind of a shame that they've come out so different, like so far apart. But on the other hand, it's cool that a new course has come out here like this too. So yeah, there's pros and cons to both. 
That's not fast. There's no way that's fast. Oh, Alan. Harsh. Whoa. Okay. I scobbed it. Yeah. I scobbed that. You gotta take a little bit more care in these greens. That's OB to the right. No, it's not. See, what I would look for here is if you could ever get it to land on the road and roll down the road. Problem is there's trees in the way. Oh, you don't have to. Okay, well, let's find out. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, we're taking an unplayable for this. No, 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 no. Oh, I've gone the other way this time. At least we're going to go off the plot this time. Well, there's our answer. That's that's OB right there. Oh, see, and it won't I can't even I can't even aim over there. Huh. All right, well, there's OB. Probably not the percentage play. All right. No, oh, I didn't need that to be fast. Get on the path. Oh. I thought I was gonna hit that path. That would have been that would have been the, the, the icing right there if I'd hit that path. Jeez, that came out good. Uh, is this a snowman? No, worse. Are we sure this isn't is it though? <laughs> yeah, well, I saw the road and I thought, well, if you can get it to bounce down the road, you might have a, a short one in, but... Eh. Hmm. What do you leave? Oh, jeez. Well, this should go close to 300 though. Or a little more than 300. But then that leaves us this length, which is fine. Okay, we're going to make sure we get over that. Hold it a bit. Stay up. Stay up here. Stay there. Stay.
Ugh. Oh, that sucks, Victor. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out Victory Lane Sports at 7 for Is It Though. They'll be at this course, and I don't know if Victor said what the other one is for the par 3. But uh, Leech Fox and Victory Lane Sports going at it in Survivor. Uh, they will be... So, the winner of the hole gets to take a club out of the loser's bag. Or put one back into theirs. Yep, yeah, so good old-fashioned battle golf. Definitely, definitely feel the, I mean, you can feel the, the safe haven plot on this course, but you're in inland, like obviously. It still has the same characteristics though. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. That just snapped. So three, yeah, seven, seven p.m. Eastern. Victory Lane Sports, Twitch.tv/slash Victory Lane Sports, more appropriately. Uh, whew. there's a sinkhole in the front of the of the green. This view here is really cool. Ah, I was, was guessing as to what was going to count, which was going to take over more of the wind of the, the slope. Stop! Hmm. Hmm. Have another massive breaking putt. I'm over par. Oh, yeah, because I fire two into the cornfield. That's why. Okay. So I want to stay right to get an angle and to be on the flat. So I'm going to smother hook it into the crap left. Well done. Hmm. I actually did think about this. Yeah, okay, it does get over that. Yep, it sure will. Oh, split fairway with that massive moundy thing. I think I'll just take driver. Thank you. And for those thinking about watching, is it though? There is a chance that Victor will win tonight because he'll be playing a Mayday course. Um, that is... Fox and Scriptonite, so. There's, that's not fast. There's no way that's fast. And I'm dead. Hey, Daniel. This week's a little... <laughs> yeah, you had a bit of a head off last week, it looked like. Easy part.
See, but I wasn't a fit of rage. That was me being fun. I, I, yeah, Daniel, I may have tried to hit the ball down a road on the edge of the plot that then sent me out of bounds. After hitting one and missing the road and saying, no, I want to hit the road. So then taking unplayable that I could play just fine. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, this you've you've made this style work so well. Um I I would have a hard time choosing between the two, which is my favorite on this plot. They're both great. I just this could grow on me. Oh, it's got to go. I mean, it's it's a good problem to have. Um, that people are arguing over which of your two fantastic courses is the better one. Right? I get... <laughs> yeah, see, I took a small nine there, Daniel. But I was five off the tee, so... All right. Mayday doesn't nest. Oh, shoot. I meant to. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, can I go to the scorecard from here? Maybe. No. I don't know. Whatever. Um, oh, no. Course details. There we go. Uh, it, you know, Mayday doesn't release a ton of courses, but when he does, they're great. And that's what we love. Um, so this is fantastic. Love the style. Love all the, again, love the detail of it. Can't imagine how long this took. It must have taken absolutely forever. When you combine the two of them together, I mean, it, the hours of that must be just absolutely insane, but, um, well worth it. So fantastic, dude. Love it. Absolutely love it. If you're watching it on YouTube, uh, you like what you saw, hit like, um, in the comments, tell me how I might have played the par five 11th better than how I did. <laughs> and if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. Uh, we're getting more courses coming out, uh, so there'll be more playthroughs on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.